Yeah, Wired with Hilda, Duckator playing Phonon. So Phonon's a new character to ST. Uh, not the 3.2. She's been out in arcades for a while. Right, of course. But new to new to America. <laughs> right, or, or at least the Americans that don't have you know can't fly yeah, out of yeah. Japan and, and play. Yeah, yeah. So she she's oh, like a zoning checks. character, kind of similar to Hilda, uh, or like Yuzu, where she's got really long like limbs, sort of like Dulcimi. And the a thing that she has that's really really strong is her I think it's J B J B or J A. Mm -hmm. If she does it right out of assault, it's extremely fast, very very hard to block. So she has strong offense as well. And her fireballs are very, very plus. Well, it looks like so this is can, real, so... She can do a lot of pressure. Oh, yeah. Looks like it. Okay. All right. Blocks the surfboard and mashes out. The surfboard, I think, is always minus if you block it, or maybe... If you, if you block it from that height, for sure. Now, ton of damage. Phonon is pretty high damage character. And this is going to kill. Hilda also is no real slouch on damage, but... It can be a little bit harder for her to get started. Once she does, though, she has really strong set play. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, setting chandeliers to fall on you that hit overhead. She has full screen lows as well. She has uh, a jump normal. You see, it kind of looks like a pair of scissors. He's done it a couple times, uh -huh. that move. Uh, he can charge it, which means he can delay it coming out, land, and just do a low. Hmm. So very tricky to block, especially when he can set up projectiles that force you into block stun. And we're probably gonna see it here because he's got he's got Vorpal, he's got tons of meter, phone on. Uh, not not much of like a setup, but get something. Teleport. It's caught with the overhead. Uh, I think he was expecting Duck to wake up back dash or maybe back tech to try and get out of the setup. So he aimed the when she does that little disco ball. Mm -hmm. uh, Wired chooses where, which direction it fires the little bits in. Like that. He fired them backwards. So if Duck had moved forwards, he might have been able to get out. But there's no way for you to know which direction it's going to fire until it comes until out. Until it does. <laughs> yeah. Good pick up from Duck. He's going to take to the corner. Now he's got to block his phone on pressure. Her, she's whiff, he's whiffing right there. That lets him recover faster out of the J or 5C or whatever that move is. Right. And Phonon's rebeats are pretty strong. They don't make her plus, but they make her like minus two or something and leave her at this optimal spacing. So to get out of her pressure, you kind of have to know exactly where she's gonna be, like when she's gonna when she's gonna rebeat and kind of what move she's going to do, because at that spacing, you can assault over a lot of her low pokes. Duck's on not a lot of life, but he has pretty good defense. Skullgirls player. Yeah. yeah. He's used to blocking way harder stuff than this. So he's so down, he but he's not out. He definitely run it back, yeah. <laughs> Mark, uh, or Wire, trying to get out, throw some disco balls, get started. Duck wasn't let him, letting him have it, but he found a match. So wired up 1-0? Yep. Cool. Uh. He looks a little relieved. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot, a lot of our, uh, our teammates are all at a, at an absolute battle. Yeah. Where the the mix up is the the, uh, yeah. the, the hurricane mix up is uh, undefeated. Strong, you know, it's yeah. a ten out ten out, uh, ten out mix up. Yeah. Meaty hurricane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, I think Kizer made it out, like all actually to the venue, right? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Back to this match. Ooh, nice veil off from Wired. Let's him get started. He threw out a disco ball and was able to get. He got a pick up off of it, but didn't quite convert it properly. So is, is a veil off like kind of like a, a burst? Not really. It's sort of like a gold burst. Oh, okay. Uh, it works more. It's it's more like a universal reversal. Oh, okay. Uh, it costs you 100 meter and it puts you into this like. You have infinite meter on a timer, similar to like uh, the exceed in Chaos Code or. Uh, Shadow Burst, Shadow Rampage in Persona. Okay. 
Uh, but there is no way to like escape a combo if you're in it. No, no like burst mechanic like that. Okay. And these, those like Hilda pressure strings that back, uh, the the spine spire that comes out from the back is plus on block. And afterwards, she has dash B is that little wheel that comes out. It's like very long range. It's very hard to get out of that. Uh, Phonon, though, is a character who has some pretty good long range normals. So I imagine she definitely has ways. It's a hit. This is a good. Oh, no, it doesn't quite get the ender, but that's all right. He still has time to run up and meaty. And he got like a good 3.4, 3.5 out of it, which is pretty good damage. Picks up an assault. It wasn't quite that, that instant overhead I was talking about before, but. All right. Whatever works, works. And so duck, duck ties it up. Yep. Yeah, I have I have not played any of the uh, was it the Melty Blood slash French Bread slash oh, yeah. you know games, and so this is fascinating to me. That, like this is here. Yeah, yeah, I think I saw like a video of um, and I didn't know the name of the game, but I saw like a, a, a match between like Waldstein and like one other character, and I'm like, what the hell is this game? And then yeah. sure enough, I see it again. I was like, oh, it's, it was this game. It was this yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. There's some really weird like thing, and then like you know now yeah. you will play it. This game is actually really really different from Melty Blood. Because uh, Melty Blood's a really, it's, it's a lot like gear in its like, pacing, because you have really strong air movement options and air normals. And this game, being in the air, super sucks. Because you, like, everything is air unblockable, mm -hmm. basically. And right. even, like, air normals, you have to shield. And if you shield wrong, you lose, like, everything. So the pace of it is, is a lot slower, and it's much more ground-based. But it does still have those, like, melting mechanics, like, rebeats. Oh, nice! So he, he woke up, ran forward, I think predicting a, like a backwards disco ball. But uh, Mark did, I want to say, a just a straight down one. Mm -hmm. So he chain shifted and saw that Wired was in the air. So he did the Phonon's DP, which is a metered DP, and managed to invone all the way through the that Oki ball. So that's pretty, that was pretty good awareness. Meteor gets knocked down. That's the instant overhead. Okay. So you can only convert off of it if you spend chain shift okay. in order to to put yourself back to neutral. Come down with another button. And it leads to like pretty solid damage considering that it's like a assault instant overhead kind of starter. Uh, I'm not sure if she's a character who has it. Some